so hey guys welcome back to civil learning online youtube channel and today in this video i am going to discuss about inverse laplace transformation and we are going to solve some numerical problems based upon the convolution theorem as in the previous video i have discussed about the definition of convolution theorem and also learned about the derivation link is in the description you can watch that video and without any further delay let's get started So here we have a question in which we have 1 upon p times p plus 2. Let us start from the beginning. So moving to our definition of convolution theorem, it says that if inverse Laplace transformation of f p equals to f t and inverse Laplace transformation of gp equals to gt then inverse laplace transformation of fp dot gp equals to f cross g which is equal to integration of 0 to t f u capital f u times g t minus u times du now we are going to apply this definition in this numerical so write down solution here now what we will do we will split this into ft and gt so let us suppose inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p times p plus 2 is equal to inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon p cross 1 upon p plus 2. Now what we will do? We will take inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon p first. So inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon p is equal to 1 and let this be gt. Okay. Again inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon p plus 2 is equal to e to the power minus 2t and let this be ft okay and one thing more guys you can also solve this type of numerical using by applying the concept of partial fraction i hope you come to know these two are going to be linear factor and that is a bit lengthy and use the convolution theorem when you are asked and uh, when you feel like uh, the question is going to be a bit lengthy in that case we are going to use convolution theorem and try using convolution theorem when it is asked otherwise solve uh, using the partial fraction method okay so we have got now where we have got the inverse Laplace transformation of these two things now what we will do now we are going to use the definition now by using convolution theorem what we have inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p times p plus 2 will be equal to integration of 0 to t f in place of f t we are uh, we have f u as per the definition so uh, we have f u times g t minus u times du if uh, by definition i have capital f t g t so right here capital f t g t and our assumption is also going to be capital g t and capital f t now what we will do we will replace t with u so and then we will integrate to upper limit and lower limit so we have ft in place of ft we have e to the power minus 2 t times gt minus u gt minus gt is 1 so 1 times du so now integrate this so e to the power minus at integration is e to the power minus 
ए टी अपॉन माइनस ए सो माइनस ए इज माइनस टू सो माइनस टू एंड पुट द लिमिट जीरो टू टी और सॉरी दिस इज गोइंग टू बी यू बिकॉज वी हैव एफ यू सो एफ यू एंड ई टू दी पावर माइनस टू यू अपन माइनस टू नाउ पुट द लिमिट हेयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वी पुट द अपर लिमिट सो ई टू दी पावर माइनस टू टी अपॉन माइनस टू माइनस ई टू दी पावर जीरो मीन्स वन अपॉन माइनस माइनस गोइंग टू बी प्लस एंड माइनस टू वाई दिस सी हेयर वी हैव एक्चुअली ई टू दी पावर माइनस टू टी अपॉन माइनस टू एंड लोअर लिमिट इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस सो माइनस ई टू दी पावर माइनस टू टाइम्स जीरो जीरो मीन्स वन एंड जीरो इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ समथिंग ई टू दी पावर समथिंग ई टू दी पावर जीरो मीन्स वन एंड वी हैव हेयर माइनस टू और यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक माइनस टू कॉमन एंड देन यू कैन पुट द अपर लिमिट सो आफ्टर दिस दिस स्टेप एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी कम वी हैव दिस स्टेप सो टेक टू कॉमन नाउ सो ऑन अपर लिमिट इन न्यूमरेटर वी हैव वी विल हैव वन माइनस ई टू दी पावर माइनस टू टी एंड दिस इज आवर आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन लेट्स सी फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स Uh, related to this convolution theorem so here is second example now so write down solution here and second step is inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p square times p plus 2 and let's write it separately inverse is equal to inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p square times 1 upon p plus 2 okay now we have inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p square is going to be t because we have the formula inverse laplace transformation of 1 by p to the power n equals to t to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial so here it is p square so we have t to the power 2 minus 1 upon 1 factorial okay so inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p plus 2 is going to be e to the power minus 2t now uh, assume it as capital g t c we have assumed and let this be f t okay and this is also c now by using convolution theorem c o n v o l u t i o n convolution theorem what we will have uh inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon p square times p plus 2 is equal to integration of 0 to t f u capital f u times g t minus u and du so here we have f u in place of u we will, in place of t we will put u so integration of 0 to t a to the power minus 2 u times uh t g t is g t is t so t in t minus u t minus u means t minus u du so now let's split this let's multiply uh this with e to the power minus 2 so e to the power minus 2 with multiply with t so our we will have 0 to t e to the power minus 2 u times t du minus integration of 0 to t e to the power minus 2 u times u times du okay so on integrating uh t times e to the power minus 2u 2u so we will have t times integration of e to the power minus 2u will be e to the power minus 2u by minus 2 0 to t minus u times e to the power minus 2u now here we will apply uh the integration by part concept that is so we uh, we have integration by part means uh we will use the concept i l a 
टी ई मीन्स फर्स्ट इन वर्स देन लॉग देन अलजेब्रिक डन ट्रिगोमेट्रिक देन एक्सपोनेंशियल सो वी हैव एक्सपोनेंशियल एंड अलजेब्रिक यू मीन्स अलजेब्रिक सो अलजेब्रिक कम्स बिफोर एक्सपोनेंशियल सो दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट एंड दिस इज आवर सेक दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन सो आवर फॉर्मूला इज फर्स्ट times we have to do the integration in one one step only so we have first times integration of second to, so e to the power minus 2u on integration will be e to the power minus 2u upon minus 2 and put the negative sign so on putting the negative sign we will have derivative of first means derivative of u is 1 times integration of second minus e to the power minus 2u upon this we are integrating this whole this is our second term its formula is फर्स्ट टाइम्स इंटीग्रेशन अफ सेकेंड ओके इंटीग्रेशन अफ सेकेंड सपोज इट इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इंटीग्रेशन अफ सेकेंड माइनस डेरिवेटिव अफ फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव अफ फर्स्ट एंड इंटीग्रेशन अफ सेकेंड इंटीग्रेशन अफ सेकेंड मीन्स वी आर वी नीड टू इंटीग्रेट दिस पोर्सन ओके दैट्स वाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस सो यू टू दि पार माइनस टू यू ऑन इंटीग्रेशन विल बी टू दि पार माइनस टू यू and we have already this minus 2 and e to the power minus 2u integrated means e to the power minus 2u upon minus 2 so here now put the limit 0 to t now what we will do we will write down or uh, put the limit now so we will have here t times e to the power minus 2t upon minus 2 and up, on putting the upper limit means 0 means 1 so minus and this minus will get plus t upon 2 and here we will have first put the upper limit so uh, in place of u we will have t so t times e to the power minus 2t upon minus 2 and minus minus plus and this minus so minus e to the power minus 2t upon 4 and put the limit so 0 this 0 will multiply this so it will get 0 so minus means plus 0 this is minus so and uh, when putting the lower limit we subtract from the from what we will obtain after getting the putting the upper limit so uh, this is minus and uh, when putting the upper li lower limit this minus will get converted to plus so we have plus 0 and on putting the 0 we will have e to the power 0 means 1 so 1 and this minus minus this minus and this this minus minus plus and this minus is minus so here we will have plus 1 upon 4 now we will do the final calculation here see we will have here um, t times e to the power minus 2t upon minus 2 plus t upon 2 and this minus minus plus t times e to the power minus 2t upon minus 2 and minus minus plus e to the power minus 2t upon 4 and minus 1 upon 4 so like uh, here this minus and this minus will get plus okay and this and this will cancel out because here it is minus 2 and here it is plus 2 now we have the remaining terms and that is our answer so i am going to write down the answer here uh, after this we are here so our final answer is going to be t plus t by 2 t plus t by, oh sorry t by 2 this is cancelled out this portion is cancelled out so we have t plus 2 t plus 2 plus e to the power minus 2t by 4 and minus 1 by 4 so this is our final answer let's see one more example on this method so write down the solution here this is question number 3 of this video on this method also so we have solution and inverse laplace transformation of One upon p square times p square plus a square is equal to inverse Laplace transformation of one upon p square times one upon p square plus a square. Okay. Now close the bracket, and further we will have inverse Laplace transformation of 
1 upon p square is equal to t and inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon p square plus a square equals to see here we don't have any formula for this so what if inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon a times a by p square plus a square and we can bring this one by a out so 1 upon a times inverse Laplace transformation of a upon p square plus a square now guys I hope you remember this formula we have a upon p square plus a square means sine a t and this is 1 by a so 1 by a sine a t and let this be g t and let this be f t okay so by using convolution theorem by using convolution by using convolution theorem what we have inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon p square times p square plus a square is equal to inverse Laplace transformation of f u times g t minus u du okay let this be capital G this is this is f t and this is capital g t okay now put the value so we have inverse Laplace transformation of f u f in place we have f t so we are using the value of for f u means 1 by a times sine a u times g t minus u means in place of gt gt we have t so gt minus u means t minus u and du now do the multiplication so that we could integrate we can integrate so on doing the multiplication we will have here inverse laplace transformation of let's take 1 by a common or we can use it separately 1 upon a times inverse laplace transformation of sine a u times t d u and this minus 1 upon a times inverse Laplace transformation of u times sine a u du right on the bracket so I hope you are getting the my points now let's solve it further so we have here 1 upon a times uh, here we are we are about to integrate with respect to u so t is going to act as a constant here so let's bring this t out and integration of sine a u times with respect to u will be integration of sine a t means minus cos a u upon a and I missed the limit we are inverse Laplace transformation of f u g t u inverse Laplace transformation will be integration I am using the symbol 0 to t and du ok 0 to t as per the definition we have integration we have to integrate with respect to 0 to t so integrate uh, 0 to t ok now we have the limit 0 to t this is for this portion we have done this now we have 1 upon a times again we are going to use the integration of part theorem that is first and l a t means second so uh, use the bracket now let's use curly bracket so we will have here uh, u times sin a u means first times integration of second so in a sine integration will be minus cos a u upon a minus derivative of first with respect u derivative of u with respect to u will be 1 times uh, integration of second integration of second cos a u integrated into on integration will be minus cos a u integration will be minus sin a u upon this is a and the on integrating cos a u will be minus sin a u upon a 
and this is a as it is this a is here and cos on integrating cos au we will have sin au upon a now we will use the limit that is 0 to t so on using the limit we will have here 1 minus 1 upon a times t times cos a t upon a and on putting the value 0 in place of u we will have cos 0 cos 0 means 1 so we have here and this is minus so second term is going to be while doing putting the lower limit value we change the sign okay uh, we have we will subtract from the uh, value which we get after putting the upper upper limit so here upper limit is in negative and minus and minus will get plus here because we are putting this time zero value so zero cos zero means one so we will have here t upon a square and minus one upon a times putting the upper limit we have t times minus this minus t cos a t upon a and this minus and minus will get plus sin a t upon a square and putting the value 0 so cos uh, this 0 multiplying will be, uh, whole become 0 sin 0 means 0 so upper limit is already 0 here now now do the sign do some calculation here we need some basic calculation so we have here uh, minus t by a times cos a t upon a minus t by a square and this minus and this minus will get plus t times cos a t upon a square minus 1 upon a q times sin a t and this portion this portion cancelled out positive negative sign different sign they are carrying different signs so finally we will have uh, minus t upon a square minus uh, sin a t upon a q as final answer i hope you understood this numerical see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself